Okay, today I'm going to show you how to put custom themes on your Vista. Um, and some other thing, interesting things, too, as we go along. Alright, if you look at this right here, it appears to be Windows XP, I guess you could say. You know, old start menu and everything. Kind of, can't really tell. Camera's really bad, but, uh, yes, it's, it's a Vista. Um, the, uh, things highlight just like a Vista does. And the start menu is the same as Vista. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do if you're going to create custom themes is um, create a system restore. I'm going to show you how to do that. And you're going to want to be administrator because if you're not administrator, um, to set it, go to control panel, um, user account settings, and do it there. Alright, so you're going to want to go to start search. And click and type in system, and by the time you type in system, system restore should be up there. And uh, system restore, and this is when you're going to want to be administrator because it's going to ask you if you want to continue. All right, now you're up here at system restore. Um, now. You're going to want it. Might, it's going to have some system resource points already there for you. But if I was you, I'd go down to right here, this blue part, blue where the mouse is, and uh, it says open system protection. And before it says to create a restore point, so you're going to want to click on that, and it's going to open your system protection. And you see XP layout. I want to go old school, so that's the theme I chose. All right, so you're going to see this thing. It's going to say, um, System Restore. And then, that's how you restore your system. It's going to bring you back to you. And right here is Create. You're going to want to click right on that Create. And that will create you a System Restore point. I'm not going to do it because I already created one. Alright, exit. Okay, after you do that, you're going to want to install Vista Glass. Right there, Vista Glass, the one with the shield by it. Vista Glass is the easiest software to um, change your theme files. It's really easy. It does the whole thing for you and restarts your computer and everything. Um, but before you do that, you have to download the right one. There's two versions one for um, Vista with Service Pack 1, and one for Vista with no Service Pack. My computer has no Service Pack. I'm going to show you how to do it. Go to Start Search, type in CMD, and the first thing that comes up is Command. CMD, Command Prompt. You're going to want to open that. Command Prompt opens, and you type in System Info. Hit Enter. Loading process information is going to load. And in just a second, a whole bunch of stuff is going to pop up. I'll show you where to look. Oh, there we go. Alright, we got a whole bunch of junk up here. Right, so scroll back up. Alright. Alright. Right here. OS version. Mine says 6. Point, let's see where. OS version, right there. It's the third one down. Sorry about the camera. Alright, look under the uh, OS version, and mine says 6.0.6000 NA build 6000, and if I had Service Pack 1, it would say SP1, but it doesn't. I don't have Service Pack. So, um, so yeah, I had to download the one for no Service Pack, and you can Google whichever one you need. Just say, like, type in Vista Glass for Service Pack 1, or Vista Glass for Service Pack 0. Alright, once you download a Vista Glass, you see it right there. Alright, you're going to want to be administrator again for Vista Glass. So, open it up. Boom. And there it's going to ask me, yes, allow it. And it'll Alright, as you see, I have a shield checked here, 
and a shield check here. These are the two things you're going to want to enable. First, you're going to want to click on the computer. System files. It says, your system files are patched. Use the button to unpatch these files. I already patched my files. Yours, if you haven't done this already, which if you're watching this, you probably haven't, will say, your system files are in their original state. Please press the button to patch the files. And you're going to press this button right here where the cursor is. Click on that. And it's going to patch your files and then ask you to restart your computer. And it should do that for you. Say restart. And then your files be patched. But this is the important part. Make sure you have your the right one. Because if you have service pack one, you could ruin stuff up and you're going to have to use that system restore. I didn't have to use a system restore because I did it right. Alright, next thing, you're going to want to do this. This is going to be your MS files. Alright, see my MS style files are patched. Yours will say they're in the original state, and you're going to click on the same one again. It's going to say patch files, I think, from what I remember. Alright, that's how you use Vista was. Make sure you have check marks by both the shields. Alright, after you're done with that, you um if you haven't already, you can um open up the internet. And um my favorite site for uh downloading themes is deviantart.com. Um if you're if you've tried searching themes before, that place is probably popped up somewhere. And as usual, it's taking forever to load. I'll have to come back. Alright, so, oh, here we go. DeviantArt.com. Tell uh, whatever themes you want, just um, type them into the search box right here. It should have what you're looking for. Alright, now I'm going to show you about changing the themes. Right. So you're going to want to go start, control panel. Oh, and most themes should have instructions on how to do this. But you're going to save all the themes into um, C, your hard drive, um, Windows, Resources, Themes. Make sure you save the folders in there. If you have WinRAR or a uh, unpacking program, the uh, Vista Defense System won't let you do it. So you have to open it and drag the contents there. Uh, if you have any questions about that, Google it. All right, you go to personalization, as you usually would, and um, display settings, or actually theme will change the theme. But most likely you're going to get MS style at Windows, and you're going to click. All right, you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to show you. You go to computer. I'm gonna open up computer. Click on C drive. Alright. Um you go to Windows. The one that says Windows. And scroll down to resources. Alright. Yeah. Alright, resources. Themes. And here's a bunch of themes. All right, there's Royale, Luna. Those are XP themes that I got. And um, here I'll show you Leopard, which is Mac theme. And you, this is the MS style. Double click. And there it is. You can apply. That's it.